Up to this point, we've been demonstrating the Instrument 1 on iOS, but the Instrument works just as well on Mac and PC. The setup is a little bit different, so let's take a minute to walk through some of the basics. And if you're more interested in iOS and don't think you'll be using a computer with the Instrument 1, feel free to skip this video and we'll pick it up at the next lesson. So if you've been following along from previous lessons, you'll already have downloaded the Instrument 1 editor. The editor works a little bit differently than the Artifon app. Namely, the editor does not have any sounds built in. Its sole purpose is to customize and save presets on the Instrument 1. So this means that unlike the Artifon app, you won't be able to trigger sound just by connecting to your computer. You'll need a DAW, a digital audio workstation, to generate sounds. DAWs are great not only for recording your playing, but also for arranging your songs. Let's take a look at a DAW for Mac first. Apple ships its computers with GarageBand, a brilliant DAW that you may have already used. GarageBand complements the Instrument 1 so well that we've made a special GarageBand session configured specifically for the instrument. You can download it directly from our site, and we'll include a link to it below in this video. Let's go ahead and open up the Instrument 1 editor. You can select presets in the Instrument 1 editor just like you would in the Artifon iOS app. But unlike the iOS app, where sound and technique are connected, in the editor I choose these separately. For this example, we're going to stick to the guitar preset. Next, we're going to hop on over to GarageBand, and we'll pick a good software instrument here. You'll notice in our session that the software instruments map directly onto the presets available on the Instrument 1. We've got guitar, violin, piano, and drums. So the Instrument 1 is in guitar mode right now, and I'm going to change things up a bit by picking the piano preset in GarageBand. Nice. Let's see what else we've got in here. I'm going to try this mysterious synth lead. Great, let's try out some drums now too. So I'll jump over to the Instrument 1 editor and select drums and then hop on over back to GarageBand. Let's find a good drum sound. We'll try this electronic drums software instrument. And I'm gonna use some of GarageBand's audio effects to customize this a bit. We'll pump up the kick and the distortion too. See how that sounds. If you're using Windows, I definitely recommend checking out Soundtrap. Soundtrap is a powerful web-based DAW that allows you to record and edit your playing all within your browser, a lot like GarageBand, but online. It works really well with Windows and Mac, but we're gonna demonstrate on a PC this time. One thing that Windows users will want to bear in mind is that unless you're running Windows 10, you won't be able to have the Instrument 1 editor open at the same time as your DAW. That's because versions of Windows prior to 10 are configured in such a way that MIDI can only flow to a single program at a time. So it's important to close out of the editor before for playing in your DAW, otherwise you won't hear anything. This can sometimes make the process of switching between presets using the editor and a DAW a little bit cumbersome, but by saving your presets to one of the four dotted preset slots available on the Instrument 1, you can switch between your favorite custom settings in real time without touching the editor at all. And we'll take a look at saving presets like that in the next lesson. But for now, let's set the instrument's preset in the editor to piano. For Soundtrap to work, we're gonna to need to set the MIDI mode in the Instrument 1 editor to single channel. So we'll select that. Now to play in Soundtrap, I'm gonna to need to exit the Instrument 1 editor and then power cycle the Instrument 1. And that just means turning the instrument off and then on again. Okay, so I'm gonna log into Soundtrap here. And then I'm gonna add a new track. Soundtrap has some really good synth sounds in here. I really like this floppy tone synth. Now let's say we want to customize our preset a little bit more. We'll need to jump into the Instrument 1 editor to do that. We'll need to close out of our DAW before we do any edits in the Instrument 1 editor. So we'll close out of that now, open up the Instrument 1 editor, 
and I'm going to try out ARP vibes here. I'll need to close out of the editor and then power cycle the instrument one. Now, if we want to make any changes, we don't have to jump into the editor every time we want to tweak our preset. We can use these built-in presets here to make our changes. Let's try jumping over to Smart Strum. Next up, let's learn how to make our own presets.